Hi, I'm Anisha Gonzalez. I'm the new creator on YouTube. Welcome to my world, the world of Anisto. This is a channel where I can review all your pop culture needs, such as movies, TV shows, comic books, video games, and music, and of course, anime. Yeah, it's all up to you what you want me to review. So, if there's anything you would like me to review, just comment down below and I will review it. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, make sure to click the notification bell to get new updates about all your pop culture needs. Just for references, this is a scale I created that I'm going to be using to rate movies, comic books, TV shows, video games, music, food, and of course, anime. 0 out of 10 is worse. 1 out of 10 is bad. 2 out of 10 is yeah, no. 3 out of 10 is sock. 4 out of 10 is... It's a start. 5 out of 10 is okay. Like, okay. 6 out of 10 is potential. 7 out of 10 is cool. 8 out of 10 is whoa or wow. 9 out of 10 is awesome. And 10 out of 10 is epic or oh yeah. Just to let you know all, that all properties from the images are completely owned by the copyright holders. Let's get started in here. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to review my favorite Batman graphic novels. The first one I'm going to talk about is Batman Threatening Returns by Frank Miller. This is an action graphic novel that has great fighting scenes, but can sometimes be gruesome with every page you read. There is drama, good art, and dark scenes. This is a story of Batman making a comeback and the light versus the dark. It's a very interesting and appealing to graphic novel. This is a story about Batman coming out of retirement and Batman and Superman battling against each other. I have read it several times and it never seems to bore me. So if you're looking for a good JC graphic novel to binge over the weekend, I highly recommend this one. Overall, Batman Dark Knight Returns is a great graphic novel and remains to be one of Frank, my favorite Batman stories by Frank Miller. And it is dark with little to no humor. So many awesome fighting scenes, lots of action. The art is just amazing. And I would rate this graphic novel a 10 out of 10 for epic. I love it in so many ways and I will keep loving it as long as I live. The next DC graphic novel I'm going to review is Batman Year One, which is also one of my favorite Batman stories. And it's also written by Frank Miller. In this graphic novel, it takes back to Batman's past and explains Batman's backstory as a whole. And in the, in the end, you get the better idea in why Batman is the way he is, but also shows Commissioner Gordon for starting a family in Gotham while dealing with the issues of the city. It tries to demonstrate the differences between Bruce Wayne and his alter ego Batman. It also shows how Gotham would be affected on who he is, a hero or vigilante. It is a great story that has great character development while also showing the trust with his soon to be partner Commissioner Gordon. Packed with tons of drama and appealing art and it's just overall a great storyline. Do you, if so, if you love action and a dark story and obviously love Batman, you should give it a read. You get to know Batman better as it shows a different side of the Dark Knight during his superhero career. And you get to learn a little more about his past along with Commissioner Gordon starting his life in Gotham. So overall, Batman Year One is a great graphic novel, and I believe Frank Miller did a great job on it. And now you're wondering, does it compare with The Dark Knight Returns? No, but it is one of my favorite Batman stories, and I have to give the good graphic novel a 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for awesome. Like I said, it's a great Batman story and it might not beat the Dark Knight Returns, but it's still one of my favorites. Another Batman graphic novel that I enjoyed reading was Batman The Long Halloween by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sal. This is a story about Batman and Commissioner Gordon tracking down the killer known as Holiday. And Batman needs to stop this mysterious killer before someone else gets killed. 
but it also shows parts of Batman's rogues gallery to their ways of celebrating the holidays. And it shows the telling of Batman's once friend, then turns into a villain, Harvey Dent, aka Two-Face. This story includes several villains such as the Joker, Penguin, Poison Ivy, Calendar Man, Solomon Grundy, etc. It also involves Batman's love interest, Catwoman, since she's part of the story. Overall, the graphic novel has incredible art and storytelling. The story is filled with mystery, drama, action, and it's so beautifully written. I would add the Black Butler theme and I would definitely recommend this book to all the Batman and DC fans out there. I would rate this graphic novel a 9 out of 10 for awesome. As much as I love reading it, but it doesn't beat The Dark Knight Returns or Batman Year One, but it's still a great DC graphic novel. So those are my reviews to my favorite Batman graphic novels, but I would love to hear it from you. What do you think of these graphic novels? Let me know in the comments below. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe, and also make sure to comment below on what else you want me to review. Thank you again! See you next time!